Hey guys, so um, just a little quick uh, guide here for what I'm doing. Just went ahead and installed a little water cooling kit here. So I was going to go with the regular install, but decided to move things around for a little bit and see what we could try out. And I went and left the radiator, radiator inside. And it was actually pretty easy to do. Um, just popped out the disc cages and popped it in there. And fortunately, the case already came with a little cage here for a single drive. So until I can get my hands on another, that's what I'll have to use for now. Uh, as far as the original Antic fans from the case, they're right here. So we'll still be able to get the green lights from them. And the black standard fans that came with the rad are actually up front. So everything will stay nice and dark up front while everything inside stays nice and bright. Um, right now we're just letting it run for a little bit. I didn't have a power supply tester and I didn't feel like using a paper clip so I just went ahead and plugged it in and just probably just running a BIOS right now and just sitting there doing nothing so as long as the fans there it shouldn't be a problem and we'll just let the foam here run out uh, just put the paper there so you can catch any spots or anything. This one here I actually caused when I was filling it up and we don't see any leaks here. So everything looks good. I uh, just want to show off my particular case already came with holes for uh, the water cooling here. So you have one hole here and one hole here. So I was going to keep everything inside the case. I actually just used them to uh, apply the mounts for the reservoir here. So once uh, this is going, I'll just go ahead and flip this over and mount it here. So it'll be up in front. And we should be good to go. Looks like everything's running perfect. Uh, only thing is, this bad boy here this is going to be a tight fit. Uh, this might be in the way for a little bit. Might be rubbing up against it. Uh, good thing is uh, the actual power cord is up front, not uh, running sideways like the old uh, GTS I was on it. So other than that, everything's running good. I'll come back and check on it later and see if we have any leaks or see if the phone's gone so we can start actually installing a little friend here and get this thing running. See you guys.